Hey guys, it's Wolf and Ashton. We are headed to the grocery store actually because a lot of you guys have questions about what we as athletes eat. I'm sorry, I wish you could turn this around. Look at this. And we're held up. Ran into this thing. <laughs> and you guys know what the heck that is? Sorry, there's bird poop on our car. It's like a wing to one of those like windmills. It's going to take forever to get to the store now. Now I'm in the park. We already have to drive 30 minutes to get to the store because Goliad, Texas doesn't have much of a supermarket. The Dollar General is not going to cut it. No. <laughs> a lot of you guys had questions about what we as athletes eat, don't eat, and we're going to show you guys. And take you back to the camper and just lay it all out. Diving deep into the secrets of our food. <laughs> There's a balance between us needing a lot of energy to perform and you know exercise, but also we do things like high jump and run really far. So we gotta stay light and fit. We're gonna show you how we achieve that balance. Yeah. Oh, disclaimer. We are not registered dietitians. We're oh not my gosh, nutritionists. No. She is a nutrition minor. I have a minor. I don't know. I don't wanna get anybody in trouble. I don't wanna hurt anybody. I, I don't think I will hurt anybody, but anyways, long Not on short. purpose. Yeah. So that's what this trip is about. And this is 100% experience-based knowledge. What works for us? The stuff that, you know, we do and we thought you guys would like to know about it. Speaking of our followers, I also want to give a huge shout out to JJ, Joseph, and Caitlin. They're some pretty awesome supporters of ours. JJ, I just want to let you know, like, this time sucks. I know you're senior in high school. I just want to say, like, don't give up. Yeah, man, it is a tough year to be a senior. This was the year for them to get to college. This was the year for them to get noticed or to really hit those PRs or those numbers that they needed to get a scholarship somewhere. So yeah. the next episode we're going to do is actually going to be a little more about how we got our college scholarships and how we got our D1 scholarships because we did it two completely different ways. Our next vlog will be more about that. What we just want to say is all you seniors out there, all you athletes, I mean, anyone struggling going through this right now without having, you know, finished your senior year out, don't give up on your dreams, what you want to do in college or whatever it may be after high school because there's still opportunity for you to grow as a person, as an athlete, whatever you want to be. Feel free to reach out to us with questions or like motivation because we've been in situations like that, not quite like this. But this is, yeah, obviously. But definitely. you know, if you need help and want more information on how to get to the next level, just let us know. Like comment section, DM me on Instagram, DM Ashton. We will talk to anybody. Yeah, and we want to help. That's what we're here for. That's why we're doing this channel. All right, back to food. We'll see you at Walmart. Yeah. All right, so made to Walmart. Brought our little mask. Funny story. The wolf actually Here's made my it. Mask. Made this out of a sock. Made it back home. Got some groceries to take in. Look yep. at you in your shades. <laughs> what? Up. It's right out here. I know, but. Oh what? It's cloudy. It's a cloudy day. Got muscle man coming in with all the bags. Yeah. Show me your guns, babe. Hey. Help. Here, give me some bags. Oh, well, you got it. There's you, more. You don't need. Oh, there's more. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually gonna do some cooking because I haven't had lunch yet, and it's like three o'clock, so I'm pretty hungry. Wolf actually had some um, chicken from Dixie's. Dixie's. He had some chicken from 
Dickie's barbecue on the way back home in the car. So we're gonna uh, unlock groceries and I'm gonna actually show you what I'm gonna have for lunch. It's kind of cool, perfect timing. Some sriracha. Alright, so guys, so what I made is avocados, some tomatoes, pork actually from last night's dinner. Wolf did an amazing job cooking some pork loin. And some sriracha mm -hmm. with some eggs. Well, today's your um, way. Recovery day? It's recovery day, yeah. So I don't need as much carbs. So I'm just kind of keeping it simple with protein and fats. Avocados have just as much potassium. Or, okay, you got this. Avocados have. You, you probably shouldn't. With your mouth. Sure. <laughs> Do you go ahead and swallow. Avocados oh, are made with 60% potassium and 75% of insoluble fiber. So they're good for those of you who have bad digestive problems like I sometimes do. And they're really good for runners with high potassium to help not cramp up whenever you're going through a hard workout. While uh, Ashton's finishing up lunch over there, I'm gonna show you the spread. So this is what we got at Walmart. Doesn't look like much, but honestly, that's probably what, a week's worth of food almost for us? Yeah. Uh, what we also have that we didn't need to buy, which you can't really buy, um, <clears throat> is some like deer meat that we get from hunting. Both her family and my family do that. So we have loads of like venison that we stock up and deer sausage. So we'll use a little bit more meat than that throughout the week. Another thing I'll add is that we're not able to be as fancy as we would like to and prep our meals as well as we'd like to because we're living in a camper and there's not a lot of space. So our meals have become a lot more simple, but we still follow the same basic guidelines that we would normally as far as nutrition goes. All right, so I'm done eating. It's delicious, love it, so satisfied. Um, we're gonna put this food up now and tell you why we bought each thing. Yeah. Let's start with grapefruit juice. The only juice, the only fruit juice that we drink, well, the only juice that we drink, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have as much sugar as all the other fruit juices. Even though fruit juice has like vitamin C and all that stuff, orange juice, apple juice, we don't drink it because we don't want all the sugar. The only reason we drink grapefruit juice is because it's known to like amplify the effects of caffeine in the end like the fat burning effects of caffeine will last longer if we drink it right before coffee like it wakes it, it wakes you up wake yeah up. do be careful if you're taking medications because it really does make whatever you're taking more potent so i don't know if you're on like heart medication or whatever i don't know talk to your doctor before drinking grapefruit juice okay so the last time we got went to target and bought our stuff we got this nice box because they're having a four for one sale not in four for one but they're having a sale and we got 10% <laughs> off on four wines love to get carnivore these are all Cabernet Sauvignons yeah, by the way that's the only kind of wine that we drink yes another Cabernet Sauvignon this is by Robert Mondavi which is Wolf's favorite because it's a bourbon flavored I do like that one a lot my dad yeah. introduced me to that so we drink Cab Savs because they're the lowest in sugar like that's a theme you're gonna have to get used to <laughs> with yeah, us yeah but these are actually pretty good I love these because they're a little sweeter even though they don't have as much sugar it may look like we drink a lot because we have four <laughs> bottles, but like we drink a glass. We buy in bulk, okay? We we drink a glass or two a week. It's not that much. It's just a glass a night. I'm sorry. We drink a bottle or two a week, a glass a night, or something like that. Yeah. <clears> Obviously, you need salad, so we got a bunch of lettuce. Um, this is actually for my family. Wolf and I are in charge of making dinner on Fridays for my family of seven, <laughs> I guess now. So, ton of lettuce for them. I usually get the spinach because it's healthier, has more vitamins in it. But they lettuce. don't like spinach as much, do they? They don't like spinach as much, so. <laughs> I gotta stick with the more basic stuff they're used to. So this is not for us, okay? <laughs> this is for my family. We're making shish kebab deer steak wrapped in bacon with some onions and forgot to get peppers at the store. Dang it. He's got peppers in the garden. Yeah, oh, that's right. The garden out there, you see that there? There's a uh, little Stacy. Yeah, so my dad actually has peppers in the garden that we use. And tomatoes, actually. Love the baby tomatoes. And we'll probably have, what, a lentil or... We'll yeah, get to that so for my family, I'll cook white rice. But for us, we'll cook some beans or some lentils. What you got there? <laughs> this is a pork loin. <laughs> and they're delicious. Only, like, $5. Yeah, we usually get pork loin instead of pork chops. And I cut them into, like, little medallions. And then yeah. I'll, like, grill them. And they're and so good. Super tender. Soaks in dale and seasons it, you know, real nice. Real nice. nice. I mean, obviously protein is super important for us as athletes. We probably eat more than most dietitians or nutritionists would recommend. I mean, I for sure eat, wow, you hear that lawnmower? All right, anyways, I know I for sure eat more protein than like the typical amount per, grams of protein per body weight. 
Like I honestly couldn't. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> like I honestly couldn't tell you how many grams of protein I eat. I think my body's really good at the protein I don't absorb. Just ends up in the toilet. Like some, <laughs> some people like if you eat too much protein, that turns into fat. So it's something to watch. It's something that's person by person, how much protein you need per meal. That's my belief. I don't have to worry about it. I can eat as much protein as I want. Yeah, they usually recommend like 20 grams of protein per meal uh, for men and maybe a little higher. But I love eating protein. Grew up eating a lot of protein. So did he. So that's why we're big meat eaters. Yeah, and you need protein for more than just muscles. Like the enzymes that control all the reactions in your body are essentially protein. So like you're replenishing way more than just like damaged muscle fibers when you, if you're thinking about eating protein. So eat your meat. Speaking of which, Ooh. all right, got some boneless chicken thighs. Six fifty four for one, two, three, four, five, six. What did I say? Chick fil A. You get one of these for six dollars. When you could go to Walmart and get six of them for six dollars, it's a steal. There's our produce: tomatoes, avocados, <clears throat> and a big old onion. Big old juicy onion. I can't even palm it. I love these little guys. I love tomatoes. We put them in our eggs. We put them on like our shish kebab skewers, and like we roast them and things. Funny story. I actually used to have a tomato problem when I was little. I used to bring them to school, like really big, fat ones. For lunchtime, I would get it out of my bag, walk over to the trash can, and just start eating the tomato. <laughs> People think I'm really weird, which I don't know. Yeah, I was really weird. Weird, but I used to get rashes around my mouth just from eating so many. Are you, you're not allergic though. I'm not allergic. No, no. You just I don't got think, a rash I don't think so. from I eating. Just, I just got a rash. I guess from eating too much of it. I'm not sure. Sounds like you might be allergic to tomatoes. I. You would. Know. I disagree because I eat a lot of tomatoes. Maybe you just stained your mouth. I, maybe yeah, but it was a rash. I washed it off. And, anyways, yeah, maybe it was a stain. All right, we'll keep an eye on that. So lentils are super good for you because they have the amino acid called leucine, and that helps recover muscle damage. Right now, the diet that we're doing, the diet that we're trying, and we'll keep you guys updated on the results, is just full of legumes. Like that's our main carbohydrate source is legumes, and I think part of that is because they really do keep you full longer. You know, sometimes you'll eat bread or rice and you'll be full quick, but then you'll be hungry like. 30 minutes to an hour later. I think that beans and legumes and lentils, stuff like that, do a really good job. Yeah, because it's a it's a slow carb. It's one of those things I was talking about at the last vlog, talking about slow carbs. It doesn't spike your blood glucose levels mainly. So that's why we are sticking to just the legumes for our diet. If you want foods that make you full longer, look up the glycemic index, like all the carbohydrate type foods, starchy foods, beans, potatoes, like rice, they're on the glycemic index and you want to be eating foods that are lower on that list because they digest slower they get absorbed slower and it's more of a steady release of energy into your bloodstream all right here's another uh favorite of ours beets we love beets love beets can't beat them yeah they're so good for you they're so good for you and people can't get past the taste because it's pretty earthy but these actually aren't bad they're pickled they we like we out. like pickled vegetables yeah. like a lot beets are what uh they're high in nitric oxide mm -hmm. they're a vasodilator so that means like increases your blood flow which is great for just waking up in the morning or great for endurance workouts i've heard a lot you know mm -hmm. we used to have beet powder uh back in college they would provide that to us at ut beetroot juice so yeah we integrate them into our diet and we also have some supplements that we take with beets so beets are super good for you so on the four hour body tim ferris talks about eating eggs with spinach and beans in the morning i'm sorry specifically lentils so that's the one meal that starts the fat burning process for the day. And the AC just turned on. <laughs> yeah, but also your greens are good. Yeah, everything that's important to your muscles. So to finish it up, every meal, Wolf and I like to have a vegetable, a protein, and a slow carb. That is the guidelines we follow. Finish off at night with some wine. But we do that for about six days. And the seventh day is our cheat day. So this, everything we got looks super simple, right? And that's because it is. And like, mm -hmm. believe it or not, that's pretty much all we eat. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you guys... In the morning, a lot of times if, I don't, if we don't eat eggs and spinach and lentils and tomatoes, if I want just a shake, I'm going to show you what's in my shake real quick. Heck yeah. Um, here is a company called True Nutrition that we get our protein supplements from. I use True Nutrition because it's so customizable. You can go through and get exactly what type of protein you want and exactly what type of carb. So back to the glycemic index, the carb I use is called HBCDs or highly branched cyclic dextrin. It's basically a drinkable carb that's on the low end 
into the glycemic index. So it's not just like sugar rush and then I'm tired. Drink this in the morning and I got energy like for the next few hours. So HPCDs, look them up. We also get some electrolyte boost for the workout we have and probiotic for me. For yeah, help with digestion. I'm not gonna give you a lecture on protein. There's all right. kinds of proteins, but we do, what is it? So we do at least 20 grams of protein. I do one scoop of this and I'll also add some collagen fiber. There you go. To help my tendons and like, you know. Muscles and bones, all that yeah. healthy stuff. Those things and then I'll put creatine monohydrate in there and depending, <laughs> sometimes I'll throw green superfoods in there and glutamine powder. And also I mentioned beta alanine in the last post is the kind that I use. That's a lactic acid buffer? Yeah, well, it's part of the process. It binds to, it binds to, car <laughs> to carnosine, which is already in your system. Last but not least, the MCT oil, right? MC yeah, MCT oil is good. <laughs> a lot of people are questioning it because it's a saturated fat, which typically those aren't good, but it's a medium chain triglyceride. So it's a little bit different than uh, your normal saturated fats. And I think that's a big part of the fat burning. Like I think that's the philosophy of you got to eat fat to burn fat. I think part of that is true. And that's why we do this. Mm -hmm. And uh, Absolutely. also keeps you full longer. Yeah. yeah, so if we're tired of eating the same thing every morning, we just change it up with a shake in the morning. Sometimes we throw in some coffee. I don't know why I said some coffee. Some my coffee. Some more coffee. That's what we usually have in the morning. If we don't have the shake in the morning, we'll have it at lunch. Um, and then we're back to the same meals until Saturday, which is <sighs> my saving grace. We didn't show you this earlier, but this is what we got at Walmart and prep for Saturday because, you know, we can't be driving 30 minutes back and forth, back and forth every day. So we got some triple filled apple cheese braid bread and some triple filled cheese braid, bread, braid, whatever, bread dan danish. How you doing over there, Oh my <laughs> gosh, that's a tongue twister. Six days of the week, we eat just like we told you. And one day of the week, which we've chosen to be Saturday, is our cheat day. And we just go completely nuts and eat whatever we want as much of it. And we do that because like mentally it's hard to starve yourself from like sugar and carbs and stuff that tastes really good. Yeah. And also if you're taking in less calories, your metabolism will likely slow down. A lot of people will try a diet and then they'll cut so many calories, they'll be hanging on to fat because their body's like, oh no, you're starving me. So once a week we just, unleash and it also helps your leptin and ghrelin levels so you won't be like as hungry the next week yeah so basically it like restarts the whole system i've done it like for two or three weeks now and every saturday i'm just burning up like my body's just like burning like every carb that i take and i'm so hot oh um, yeah your your veins will just be like you know like yeah. your metabolism goes into overdrive and i gained like a pound or two i noticed on sunday which is normal and by monday i'm back to the same weight that i was the week before i started the cheat day so mm -hmm. it's it's pretty cool how your body resets after that and you're able to keep burning weight, you know, weeks to come. All right, so we hope you learned something. Yeah, the last thing I would add is just to hydrate. Um, yes. Drink as much water as you can. Mm -hmm. I get tired of water after a certain point, so I love Topo Chico's because I like carbonation and I can't drink sodas. Topo Chico's my stuff. I like LaCroix too. I don't drink carbonated anything. My stomach can't handle it for some reason. I wish it would because I get tired of drinking straight water too. It's not my cheat day and I'm not feeling coffee, not feeling water. I need some like energy just grab a sugar-free red bull and also our other favorite energy drink blue frog it's blue part frog. of the rx brand that i take my multivitamins from so that's basically what we drink and eat all week saturdays we let loose go free have whatever we want um but we're pretty strict it's something that we as athletes got to figure out like what our body performs Res best at response to. um in response to so that about does it i mean it's not rocket science it can be yeah. if you look into the rocket science of it all yeah a lot of protein for us a lot of vegetables and slow carbohydrates basically what we're, we're doing right now only eating when we're hungry yeah if you need to lose weight you can change what you're eating but you probably just need to eat less mm -hmm. if you're trying to gain weight like to be a football player or a thrower it's the opposite like you have to eat when you're not hungry listen well, to your body and uh good, good luck, luck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.